Jen and I'm from the Science Centre Singapore. You're watching Science What? Yeah! Now today I'll be talking all about poo and what better way than to head down this giant toilet bowl. Everyone, follow me. Right now we're in one of Science Centre's newer exhibitions, the Know Your Poo exhibition. And as the name suggests, it's all about poo. So are you ready to get down and dirty? So right as you enter, you'll come face to face with a simulation of the digestive system. It shows you what happens to the food you eat as it goes through the various digestive organs and gets broken down by the multiple digestive enzymes produced at each stage. But of course, we know that our digestive system converts food into poo. It's all happening inside of our bodies though and we can't really visualize the process. So let me show you today how to make your very own poo outside the body. When you first eat something, it goes into your mouth and you chew with your teeth. That mechanically breaks down the food we eat. So, imagine this blender over here is your mouth and you've got quite a hearty breakfast. In it, you eat a hard boiled egg, a slice of ham, ooh, some chips, and because you have a sweet tooth, three chocolate rolls. Not forgetting in our mouths, we also have some saliva which starts the chemical digestion. So I'm going to pour that in, pop this on, and once you're ready, chew away. And the product of all that chewing looks something like this. <gasps> now as you solo, your chewed food goes down the esophagus into your stomach. And in your stomach, you also have some enzymes in the form of a slurry of stomach acids. The enzyme acid mixture we're using here, as represented by vinegar, will also help to increase the digestion process in the stomach. Last but not least, the stomach churns and churns to physically mix everything up. So remember to give your container a long, good swirl. Food usually stays in the stomach for three to four hours and gradually turns into a mixture known as chyme. But we're going to fast forward the process and put all of our chyme into a stocking. And for additional support, I'm going to place the stocking over a cup, just like this. And if you haven't guessed it yet, the stocking actually represents your intestines. Chyme passes through the small intestine where further digestion as well as absorption of nutrients takes place. It then passes through the large intestine where water gets filtered out. Watch as the water filters out of the stocking. And what you're left with is feces, or in cuter terms, poop, all at the bottom of your rectum. And for the grand finale, all you need to do is to cut a hole at the bottom of your stocking. That's going to be your anus. And whenever you're ready, squeeze! And that's how you make science come alive. If you've enjoyed our video, please like and share. Otherwise, please subscribe and click on the bell icon to be the first to watch our newest videos. Bye!